Hey, well, this morning we are headed over to my uh, to where our yearlings are. The kids don't have school today, so we're gonna pick out. They're gonna pick out their uh, 4-H animals. We're not gonna. We're gonna narrow it down to roughly eight because sometimes when you uh, change their feed or as they grow over the next month, they have to have them picked in a month from now. So These are all of our yearlings, and our neighbor has uh, a whole bunch in here too. We're trying to get them all to go in there, which I think is dreaming a bit. These days are normally typically fun. All the kids are out. Right on, so we got all the four, all of them we actually got in, and now we are actually shipping out 20 of our steers on Monday. So we're gonna sort out our 4 each animals and our the 20 that we're gonna ship on Monday, and we're gonna go put them in another uh, in another pen so it makes Monday easier.
All right, so we're down to our heifer, or our steers are all in here and the 4-H ones we're gonna pick from. And the heifers and the neighbors are what's left. So we gotta sort out our 4-H ones to take to Daryl's and 20 of the steers that we're gonna be taking to, uh, to the auction on Monday. So that's Dylan and Quinn. They know the numbers that they. They know which numbers they're they're planning on keeping for 4H. So we're putting the 4-H ones over there, or the ones that we're looking at doing at 4-H, and then the, the steers that we want to ship are going over there. Hey, I've got like three. There we go. You got that one with the white forehead, white dot on its head, right there, Quinn. That one. Good catch. Right on. So now we got. What do we got over there? Two, four, six, eight. We got ten. There's ten over there. So we got ten. Yeah. So we got ten. We got to narrow that down. Yeah, but Dylan, we canceled off one forty-fourth in there. All right. Yep. You can close it. Close it. Yep. I'll. Uh, I can drive ahead. That's all. Quite. Let's just. We give them two or three. Yeah, they're not gonna. They're gonna be eating more of that alfalfa than they will the chop rate right off the hop. And they're starting to eat the alfalfa bale. Get them settled in. See the progress as we go through the winter. I think they look pretty good. We got some shorthorns in there. We got a black angus. And we got some semitols. All right, Quinn, which one's yours? That one. That's pretty, uh, pretty vague. 139. 139. Oh, that's Casino's calf. Right? Yeah. That's full semitol then. There's no way that calf yep. Well, it was, uh, that's always nice to get the 4-H animals brought there. The kids can start working with them, feeding them the way they need to be fed to uh, grow at a good rate. So the kids have learned quite a bit. They're not all uh, exactly comfortable on the camera yet. I tried, uh, tried questioning them on a few things on what they look for and uh, that kind of stuff. but. I'll work on them yet to see whether they can uh, do some talking on the camera. So, but anyway, they uh, they look for an animal that's got a wide, a good frame, something that can grow uh, to some good weight and fill out properly. They look for a flat back. Um, if their feet are narrow when they walk, they they're not going to grow to be a wider wider stance. Like they need a a wider frame uh, to put the meat on and uh, on the back if the back if the back of the animal is nice and flat and wide that's where your rib eyes those, those are where all your good steaks are and then your good meter on the on the top uh, of the back there so so we're also looking for temperament like an animal that these kids can work with and not have to worry about this uh, this steer running over them or going crazy so most of our animals are pretty tame they're pretty quiet, easy to work with, but they're, uh, you can get one that's crazy every once in a while. So the more time they, we spend with them, typically the, the more calm they are and the easier they are to work with. All right, we're, uh, we're back at it here at home. I finished up a few things out where the calves are or where the yearlings are and Daryl is off heroin again. 
So I'm gonna here. I'm gonna be here just uh, trying to finish up the as much as I can regarding getting these panels uh, set in place and see what I can get done today. I got the two wind brakes that I do need to put in are gonna go from right here, right at this connection point, right across to that other panel. That way this will be one pen on this side. This will be one pen, then from here to that little, uh, that little creep feeder right there, that'll be another pen, and then the far end will be another pen. So typically what we do is we start the calves off in this side. It's the smaller of the three pens. We start them off in the middle. The ones that are calving are gonna be on this side or getting close to calving. So we have stations that they move along. So yeah, all I have left is the two wind brakes to put across here. And then if I need a panel, I'll put a panel. So it's coming along. Hope you like the video. It's a little bit of uh, a lot of cattle stuff going on right now. Daryl's, like I said, Daryl's harrowing. So please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks.